Krishna. My name is Abhikya and I am 10 years old. My many thanks to Dr. Chakragar Sin who has authored a book named Vedic Microbiology along with Dr. Sriji Kul. So today after uh, studying this book, I would like to explain some of it in the introduction. So let us begin with the introduction of this book. So we'll start with a shloka which is found in Mundaka Upanishad. Kisminu bhavati vijnane sarvamidam vijnate bhavati iti. That means, what is it by which if one knows, everything is known. So that means that the answer is giving us the hint of soul-based infinite intuition. So, the Vedas used to use this soul-based infinite intuition. Whereas in modern world, we don't use it. We use machines and uh, instruments to gain or perceive knowledge. If not that, we use sense organs to gain and perceive knowledge. Whereas with the Rishis, it was soul-based infinite intuition. Whereas even some scientists in the old uh, time used to use uh, direct knowledge. Like Gautam Akshpada was a scientist, he also used to use direct knowledge. So, in Charaka Sanghita, uh, Maharishi Charaka has used the word, um, no, in, in his chapter, he has used eight kinds of hurdles in direct knowledge. So, it, uh, the eight kind of hurdles in direct knowledge is Ati Sandhi Karshat means very uh, uh, not able to uh, gain knowledge due to very closeness due to closeness then Abhibhava means not able to perceive an object due to defeatedness then Ati Saukshmiya means not able to perceive an object uh, due to minuteness and Ati Vipratiyashat means not able to view an object uh, due to closeness or something like that. I have forgotten. And um, Ati uh, Avarana means due to a cover, like viruses have an envelope around them. And then uh, Avarana and then Myopia, jaundice, and such diseases give us weakness of sense organs. Then, uh, Samana Bihara means uh, not able to view an object due to adulteration or mixing of uh, different things like stains. And then, Manona Vasthana means not able to view an object due to diversion of mind. And those are the eight kinds of hurdles in direct knowledge. And Ayurveda is considered an Upaveda of um, Atharva Veda. So, uh, Ayurveda is about life science. So, Ayurveda has eight types. It, is, it means Ashtanga Ayurveda. The first one is Kaya. Kaya shloka. Means. And the shloka about it is Kaya Bala Dhrihodvanga Shalya Damshtra Jaradrasham Ashtanga Nitasya Hushtikitsa it means there are eight um, see, branches in Ayurveda and that's how it was created. So the first branch is Kaya. Kaya Chikitsa deals with internal medicine. The second branch is Bala. Bala uh, or it's also called um, Kaumara Pratya. It deals with pediatrics. Then Urdhvanga Chikitsa, ENT, um, ear, nose, throat and the sense organs. Uh, and then Graha Chikitsa. Graha Chikitsa means uh, it's about psychological disturbances due to planets and medical astrology. Chalya means due to surgery and uh, they use surgery in it like Maharshi Shishwata he used surgery or uh, with the use of sharp instruments. Shalaki Chikitsa is about um, rejuvenation therapy. Jara Chikitsa is also about rejuvenation therapy, it's same as Vashara um, Chikitsa. And then in the end comes Vajikarana Chikitsa, which is about uh, reproduction and things like that. And then
and then uh, comes Vedic microbiology in the Vedas. Our, our Vedas also had Vedic microbiology. Our, uh, just as I told, they used to sit in Samadhi and they would see microbes, everything, every single thing in this world. Because the soul is a mine of immeasurable knowledge. And for us to also get that knowledge, they have put it in the Vedas. And that's why today we are able to find out about all of this. And in uh, microbiology in the Vedas, we have major characteristics of each of the microbes and how they work. So we start with globular. So Vedas say the microbes are globular. And also the Vedas say that uh, uh, they had legs. Legs means flagella. Flagella as you know. Uh, flagella, cilia and such uh, 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 motility uh, organs for the uh, microbes. So, if the Vedas have so much, then they are surely a mind of knowledge. Then comes the Bhagavata Purana describes the microbes to have the color of uh, uh, transparent color, like Jalasya Varna Krati. So, uh, even Charaka Samhita says it has uh, color of white, uh, brown, copper color and such colors. So, they could find out the color also of these microbes and so great they were. But nowadays our uh, microscopes, most of them can't even sense color. So if the Vedas would do this, they are such a great mind of knowledge. So then comes microbial diseases. Of course, all uh, the, the backbone of the whole of modern medicine is what, is what I see is what I believe. So they believe in microbial classification and such. But our Vedas also had many concepts like Tridosha, Saptadhatu and they also believed in microbes. So microbiology in the Vedas also had uh, terms like Dura, Nana, Kshudra, Jantu, Amiva. But the most, most uh, uh, used term for microbes is Krimi in the Vedas. So uh, many gurus in the Vedas have done work on this. So we will see about uh, this. Now comes what they did, what research they did. And also our Vedas had uh, made similarities with the universe and our body. It's quite interesting. Uh, the first thing is that the universe has 70% of water. That's true. And uh, because most of the universe is made up of hydrogen molecules. And then uh, also our body is also 70% of water. So that's quite same. And then uh, the supreme being in this universe and the Paramatma, the super soul in our body. That's also the same. And then the cosmopolitan microbes, the microbes in our body, that's also the same. And then comes uh, and the Jatharagni in our body and uh, the heat in the core of the earth. So there are many similarities between the universe and the earth. In this. So, uh, the microbiology the Vedas has gone so, so far that uh, we must appreciate the Vedas so much. And then comes microbial diseases. It means that even our Vedas had done research that microbes were the cause of disease. They knew the germ theory. So, uh, actually there are two types of diseases, Daivavala and normal diseases. Daivavala means Godsend like cholera and such diseases and Mahabhutha, uh, leprosy, they are all Daivavala diseases. And again there are two types, by accident such as lightning, diseases come so, uh, say lightning. And then by microbes. And uh, also uh, by contact, through contact also diseases are transmitted like syphilis and tuberculosis and such diseases. Even the Vedas had terms for diseases. Rajyakshma means tuberculosis, Agyalakshma means unknown diseases, and Mahakushta means leprosy, Kushta means normal skin diseases like acne, pimples, and such. And our Vedas had so many disease names also, just a uh, few are listed. So, here we end our the microbial diseases. Then comes uh, the conclusion about what we are going to say now. Our way 